Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is June 16th, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis. But I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your research and make your own decisions. I am also helping you not holding a stock when it goes from 1200 to 600. You're welcome. So Tesla, look at this, down $59.70, uh, 8.54% down, close at 639.30. Post market, we are down 24 cents more. Yeah, this is an interesting day. Uh, so yesterday, stock market was going up. The private reserve, also known as the Federal Reserve, has increased the uh, interest rate by 0.75%. Stock market rallied up. And there was no sense to that too much, but I don't care. And now we are coming down. I have to tell you that I'm quite happy that the 644 I was telling you about that it didn't feel right as the support because it's, it's just an arbitrary support. So I feel better seeing this candle that we have right now. So red candle, we opened right here and went a little bit higher than went almost. And that's what's... That's what's making me feel better. So went went close to our support at 619.66. So the low of today was 626. So it's pretty close to act. This is pretty close so that uh, this can act as a support. What is going to be very interesting now from now on, but yes, I know that the, the, the economy is not doing great and everything. But if things were to pick up, it would be super interesting to see what's going to happen because our downward channel here, this big downward channel, big downward channel, this big downward channel here is starting to meet with this resistance at, at 619, 619 right here. So this would be a great opportunity for a nice start of a new bull run that would be great that would be fantastic to have this happen here i'm not saying it's going to happen i don't know if it's going to happen but if it does this we are going to know that it's happening and then we can act so aside from that what can be happening is that this uh, support at 619 might break down if it breaks down, then we are going to go further down and we have a downward support right here. Let me extend this a little bit. We have this downward support. So depending on when it happens, we are talking about 460 or, so, or something like that. There's another big important support. This is still something that's interesting. There is a big important support that's 561. If we break 619, 561 is the next stop right here. So a little bit of a drop down here. So uh, this is the next thing we can look at. So break of 619 and break of these downward resistance. Let's go see the one hour chart. We had the gap down today on the one hour chart. It's nice when it fits uh, this uh, downward resistance. Uh, it fits this downward resistance. And then first hour, second hour, third hour, fourth hour, fifth hour was just going down. The nice play to do today, if you want to play it intraday, uh, this is what I did. So I wait after the first hour came. So the first hour was right here. And the first hour when it finished, the uh, stochastic was at 35. The stock had lost its power there, but it was still above uh, 659. So I waited a little bit, waited until we break with the nice candle, this, this uh, 659, and then I shorted from uh, this point on 655. And uh, yeah, I just bought a put. I bought a put here, boom, boom, boom. We put with expiry uh, for uh, next week and then shorted this down. And then I switched to the five minute chart just to be sure that I was not giving out too much money. I said myself that if we were closing above 633, then I was going to sell. This is what happened and uh, this is what I did. So just a little bit of a short right here. 
Let's go back to the daily chart. Okay, so looking at our indicators, uh, stochastic 10, extremely slow. So we could be breaking uh, 619 tomorrow for, for all I know. It's possible, but don't act based on what we think will happen. Let's wait until it happens. And if it does not, we don't act. It's just as easy as that. So MACD still crossover bullish, RSI is still below 50 and the MI is still uh, bearish. So yeah, we are in a big bearish channel. So uh, what can we expect? Let's go look at the VIX a little bit. Yeah, VIX climbing up quite fast today. Looking at Dow Jones, they all took a dive also at the same time. So, uh, Dow Jones is still going down. So we are in a steeper channel, a steeper channel than this one. This was the smoother channel, but this is getting steeper and steeper, getting close to support here. So let's see if it, if it supports us or not. In terms of S&P 500, also getting close to support right here. So maybe this is going to stop us for a while. NASDAQ 100, we see this line here and this line here is, is parallel to uh, this one. So uh, there is a double support kind of thing here based on that, on that resistance. But uh, yeah, so everything is coming down today compared to uh, yesterday. It's not impossible that we have a little bit of a bounce because uh, yesterday was not that big of a bounce. It was a very short bounce. So maybe we are going to get another one. But as I'm saying, we don't need to try to think about what is going on tomorrow. We cannot predict the future, but we can see changes in patterns. So this is what we are waiting to see. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. You can click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.